Convenience stores are your best friends in Japan. You can come here when you're hungry, when you're thirsty, when you need emergency supplies, you can find convenience stores everywhere. While in other countries, you can mainly just see 7-Eleven, in Japan, you can find Family Mart, Lawson, and others. Once you experience the quality and the convenience of these stores, you'll understand why they're so essential in Japanese everyday lives. Convenience stores here offer amazing food and drinks, and it is a great place to hang out and kill time, pay your bills, use the free Wi-Fi, 24-7 ATM, print your documents, deliver and pick up your packages, do simple grocery, buy house supplies, and even use their free and amazingly clean toilet, which you can actually just use by walking into the store and you're not obligated to buy anything. In the order of the number of Japanese convenience stores, here are the top 7 convenience stores in Japan with 7-Eleven at the top followed by Family Mart and Lawson. They are Japan's big threes. It is hard to make a distinction between all the different types of branches because they all sell very similar products and similar prices. All three of these companies make their own brand of food, drinks, and even house supplies. So what are some special things you can buy in Japanese convenience stores? If you've been to one of the convenience stores in Japan, you probably have noticed that they have a big hot food section near the counter. Lawson was actually the one that started the hot food section in the convenience stores in Japan. Lawson's Karage-kun came along first, followed by the era of Family Mart's Famichiki, which is short for Family Mart Chicken. Apart from the greasy fried chicken, they also serve yakitori and some healthier items have been added to the menu. Apart from the deep fried food section, most convenience stores also have a hot bun section. They have the traditional meat buns and they also have pizza buns, curry buns and many different seasonal ones. The food sections make it very easy for families to buy their fried food dishes at convenience stores. It's also a great drunk food option to have and you can find out more about that in this video right over here. Everything here costs about 1 to 3 US dollars, so it's easy for people to just come here and grab a food to go. We can't possibly talk about convenience stores without mentioning onigiri. Onigiri is one of those Japanese food that's simple, delicious, and affordable. Convenience stores serve many different types of rice bowls for you to choose from. The most popular onigiris include tuna mayo, mentaiko, and salmon. Fun fact, when you're looking for tuna mayo, the onigiri actually says sea chicken, which is sea chicken. If you've been to Japanese convenience stores, you probably wondered why. When I first saw that, I thought it was a bit weird, but also funny to call tuna basically the chicken of the sea. Sea chicken is commonly used with the same meaning as tuna in Japan. But actually, strictly speaking, it is one of the product names for canned foods manufactured and sold by Hagoromo Foods Corporation. In other words, tuna is a generic name for foods, while sea chicken is a brand name for a particular company. It was named sea chicken because of how the texture is similar to chicken breast, and that's also how the world-famous American food manufacturer Chicken of the Sea International was founded in 1914. There's a theory that it was influenced and named after this. So when you're in convenience stores and looking for a tuna mayo onigiri, look for sea chicken. If you're someone that likes bread, both western bread or Japanese bread, you will enjoy the baked goods in convenience stores. One popular bread that people love is curry bread. Although the hot food section usually sells curry buns, the curry bread in the baked goods section is deep fried. Another delicious baked goods that everyone falls in love with is melon bread, melon pan. Melon bread is simple. The skin is crisp and the inside is fluffy. You can warm it up using microwave or a panini maker. The sweetness is subtle and some convenience stores even have melon bread that have ice cream or cream inside, adding something special to it. If you've ever tried melon bread, definitely let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Japanese sandwiches that you can buy from convenience stores are not like the kind of sandwiches that you might have in mind. There are usually no crust on the bread and the bread tends to be sweeter and a bit smaller. During the bar hopping tours that we run, our guests always tell us how much they love the egg sandwich in convenience stores. And they tell us that the egg sandwiches are the best here in Japan. These egg sandwiches are made with the boiled eggs meshed with mayonnaise to create the egg salad. You get two slices of white bread wrapping the egg salad and it's creamy, the bread is soft and it's simple yet delicious. There's always a debate going on about which convenience stores have the best egg sandwiches. I've actually only tried the ones from 7-Eleven but please feel free to weigh in in the comment section down below. Okay, moving on to bento. You probably don't expect convenience store meals to be good since they're supposed to be fast and quick. But the world of bento in Japanese convenience stores is different from any other country. Since the competition between the convenience stores is quite fierce, each brand tries to serve the best bento meals. From salad, fried rice, meat on rice, pasta, and even more complicated meals like ramen and udon, you can get basically anything here. 
They're usually quite affordable, around five US dollars for the bento. The quality is incredible and you'll definitely not be disappointed. Nearly all of the convenience stores in Japan have an instant drink machine where you can get coffee, latte, cappuccino, and some of them even have frappuccino as well as smoothies. Once you pay for your cup at the counter, you can get the machine to heat up, grind, and offer you a great cup of beverage for just about one to three US dollars. You can also get all kinds of alcohol in convenience stores. The price of alcohol sold in convenience stores is basically the same anywhere else. There are huge fridge sections where you can get cans of beer, shochu, highball, and your strong zeros. If you don't know what that is, definitely check out this video right over here to dive into one of the most interesting Japanese drinks. There's also the wine and liquor section with a good collection of bottles. You can also purchase sake boxes, which are around one to two US dollars, and they're very popular among Japanese people. They also have a small fridge section that sells supplement drinks. Here you can find the Uko no Chikara, which I talked about in the video about how to prevent and cure hangovers. These are just some of the many things you can buy in convenience stores. Find out more about 7-Eleven, Family Mart, and Lawson, along with the different things you can buy there in the blog that I'm going to link in the description box down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification for more videos about the ins and outs of Japan. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for the video about Japanese fusion food.